Uh, we ran out of PLA filament, so we got a new roll here. I really like PLA. It's a very forgiving material to print with. It's Hatchbox. We got this on Amazon for like uh, $18, I think. So it's not terribly expensive, especially because this stuff lasts a while, depending on how much you're using the printer. But the spool that it comes in is too big, so we need to re-spool it on another spool. This is the Flash Forge spool. It fits inside the printer nicely. It has a spot for it. But what we need to do is re-spool it. It's kind of tricky. You can see it's even unraveling here. But once you get it, it's pretty convenient. We're gonna start this by putting one end in the hole there and then starting to wind it up. I think the first layer is the most important to make sure everything's even. So laying the filament right on top of each other. This will get easier as you get more layers in, but the first layers trickier but it's important it's important that the first layer is nice and straight because we don't want everything to start out getting tangled and now this is also going to cover up where the filament is here make sure that stays in place it works nicely to put the filament on its side so as you need more it just comes out it doesn't roll all over the place now i have the first layer done we're going to go ahead and move into the second layer now as you wind it up it'll start to get these twists in it so we're just going to need to untangle that can get a little bit tricky but you might just need to spin the spool as you're rotating it you might start spinning it and twisting it and this is the product of that so at one point we had a jig where you had a roll here on its dowel and then a roll here and then you would spin a knob and it would just transfer it over that is a little faster but whenever you don't have one of these this is the only option now that that tangle is out we'll just keep winding This is definitely a time consuming process, but I mean, it's important to get this spool wound up because it's the only one that fits in the machine and it's pretty nice to have it in the machine so you don't have to have the lid off and then be watching the print all the time. It definitely takes a lot of time to wind up. I probably got it a quarter or a little bit more than a quarter of the way wound up. I decided that was good. I didn't want to go too far. Uh, it was just taking a long time. Whenever I put it on the machine, as I took it off, it just started spinning and unspooling like it was all under tension. So you can see all this is really loose now. But I don't think that's a problem. I think it'll still unspool just fine. This is better than what we had it before. We had to have the line going out here and then have the spool sitting outside of the machine. And you have to check it, make sure it was loose every periodically. Now I can just let this run and this is a longer print and I think it'll work just fine and it'll keep feeding it. Having the spool inside of the machine makes it so we can put the lid on it, which will actually help the environment temperature in here. It'll keep just a, a higher temperature, which does help your prints. It can help it stick to the bed. It can help it just come out nicer. So it's nice whenever you can keep the heat in the machine. It would work better if you took it to another spool and let it sit on that spool for a few days and just let the filament, like, it's almost like annealing a piece of metal. The tension would relieve, but also the diameter here is larger than the inner diameter here. So that was, it was kind of causing that inner tension because it was used to being bent very wide around the outside of the circle then tightly being wound around the center. So there's a few things that really made it build up tension, but it sort of worked. I mean, it works now. It's just a little loose. It's a little different, but it does work. This Hatchbox PLA filament's been working great. So make sure your printer settings are correct in your processing software. You always just enter in the material that you're gonna be printing with and then it'll format it to work with that material. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.